Antakya Arabic, Antakya Antakya, previously Antakit, Antakya from Syriac, Taiki Antiochia, Greek, Antiochia Antiochia is the seat of the Hatay province in southern Turkey. In ancient times, Antakya was known as Antioch, and was for centuries one of the largest cities in the Roman Empire. It was an influential early center of Christianity. It has a population of about 250,000. Most of the population speaks Turkish as their native language, while a minority are native Arabic speakers. Antakya is situated in a well-watered and fertile valley. History Antiquity <inaudible> 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 The area of Antioch has been occupied by humans since the Chalcolithic era 6th millennium BC, as revealed by archaeological excavations of the Mound of Telecana, among others. The king of Macedon Alexander the Great, after defeating the Persians in the Battle of Issus in 333 BC, followed the Orontes south into Syria and occupied the area. The city of Antioch was founded in 300 BC, after the death of Alexander, by the Hellenistic Seleucid king Seleucus I Nicator. It played an important role as one of the largest cities in the Hellenistic Seleucid Kingdom, in the Roman Empire and in the Byzantium, and it was a key city during the early years of Christianity, and of the Syriac Orthodox Church, the Antiochian Orthodox Church, and also since the 7th c. AD with the rise of Islam, and after the 10th c. AD with the Crusades. Rashidun period Topic. In 637, during the reign of the Byzantine Emperor Heraclius, Antioch was conquered by the Rashidun Caliphate during the Battle of the Iron Bridge. The city became known in Arabic as Antakit Since the Umayyad dynasty was unable to penetrate the Anatolian plateau, Antioch found itself on the front line of the conflicts between two hostile empires during the next 350 years, so that the city went into a precipitous decline. In 969, the city was reconquered for the Byzantine Emperor Nikephoros II Phokas by Michael Bortzes and the Stratopedarches Peter. It soon became the seat of a dukes, who commanded the forces of the local themes and was the most important officer on the empire's eastern border, held by such men as Nikephoros Oranos. In 1078, Philaritos Brachimios, an Armenian rebel seized power. He held the city until the Seljuk Turks captured it from him in 1084. The Sultanate of Rum held it only 14 years before the Crusaders arrived. Topic: <inaudible> Crusader Era. Topic: The Crusaders' siege of Antioch resulted in its fall and the Crusaders caused significant damage during the First Crusade including a 3-day massacre of its population both Christian and Muslim. Following the defeat of the Turkish garrison, Bohemond I became its overlord. It remained the capital of the Latin Principality of Antioch for nearly two centuries. In 1268 it fell to the Egyptian Mamluk Sultan Bibers after another siege. Bibers proceeded to massacre the Christian population. In addition to suffering the ravages of war, the city lost its commercial importance because trade routes to the Far East moved north following the 13th century Mongol conquests. Antioch never recovered as a major city, with much of its former role falling to the port city of Alexandretta Iskenderun. An account of both cities as they were in 1675 appears in the diary of the English naval chaplain Henry Tung. Ottoman city The city was the center of the Sanjak of Antakya, part of the Damascus islet. In 1822 and again in 1872, Antakya was hit by an earthquake and damaged. When Ottoman general Ibrahim Pasha established his headquarters in the city in 1835, it had only some 5,000 inhabitants. Supporters hoped the city might develop thanks to the Euphrates Valley Railway, which was supposed to link it to the port of Suida now Samandagi. However, such plans were doomed to come to naught. The city suffered repeated outbreaks of cholera due to inadequate infrastructure for sanitation. Later the city developed and rapidly resumed much of its old importance when a railway was built along the lower Orontes Valley. <inaudible> Republic of Hatay and modern Turkey 
Topic See Hatay Province for the history of the region during the demise of the Ottoman Empire, the short-lived Republic of Hatay in 1938, and the area's incorporation into the Republic of Turkey in 1939. Topic. Demographics in 1935 In 1935, Turkish and Arab Muslims made more than 80% of population. Most Alawis and Armenians spoke Turkish as a second language and spoke either Arabic or Armenian as a first language. A British traveller at Antakya in year 1798 said, "...the language here is generally Turkish." while, by contrast the prevalent language at Aleppo at the time was Arabic. <inaudible> City of Antakya today <inaudible> Mount Habib i Neker Habib and, Najar in Surah al and the city walls which climb the hillsides symbolize Antakya, making the city a formidable fortress built on a series of hills running northeast to southwest. Antakya was originally centered on the east bank of the river. Since the 19th century, the city has expanded with new neighborhoods built on the plains across the river to the southwest, and four bridges connect the old and new cities. Many of the buildings of the last two decades are styled as concrete blocks, and Antakya has lost much of its classic beauty. The narrow streets of the old city can become clogged with traffic. Although the port city Iskenderun has become the largest city in Hatay, Antakya is a provincial capital still of considerable importance as the centre of a large district. The draining of Lake Amak and development of land has caused the region's economy to grow in wealth and productivity. The town is a lively shopping and business centre with many restaurants, cinemas and other amenities. This district is centred on a large park opposite the governor. S. Building and the Central Avenue Kurtulis Kadesi. The tea gardens, cafes and restaurants in the neighborhood of Harbia are popular destinations, particularly for the variety of mees in the restaurants. The Orontes River can be malodorous when water is low in summer. Rather than formal nightlife, in the summer heat, people will stay outside until late in the night to walk with their families and friends, and munch on snacks. Its location near the Syrian border makes Antakya more cosmopolitan than many cities in Turkey. It did not attract the mass immigration of people from eastern Anatolia in the 1980s and 1990s that radically swelled the populations of Mediterranean cities such as Adana and Mersin. Both Turkish and Arabic are still widely spoken in Antakya, although written Arabic is rarely used. A mixed community of faiths and denominations coexist peacefully here. Although almost all the inhabitants are Muslim, a substantial proportion adhere to the Alevi and the Arab Alawi traditions. In Harbiya, there is a place to honor the Alawite saint Hizir. Numerous tombs of saints, of both Sunni and Alawite, are located throughout the city. Several small Christian communities are active in the city, with the largest church being St. Peter and St. Paul on Hurriyat Kadesi. With its long history of spiritual and religious movements, Antakya is a place of pilgrimage for Christians. The Jewish community of Antakya had shrunk to 14 members in 2014. It has a reputation in Turkey as a place for spells, fortune-telling, miracles and spirits. Local crafts include a soap scented with the oil of bay tree. Geography <inaudible> 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 Antakya is located on the banks of the Orontes River Turkish, Asi Neri, approximately 22 kilometers 14 miles inland from the Mediterranean coast. The city is in a valley surrounded by mountains, the Nur Mountains ancient Amanos to the north and Mount Keldig Jebel Akra to the south, with the 440 meters high Mount Habib i Neker the ancient Mount Silpius forming its eastern limits. The mountains are a source of a green marble. Antakya is at the northern edge of the Dead Sea Rift and vulnerable to earthquakes. The plain of Amak to the northeast of the city is fertile soil watered by the Orontes, the Karasu, and the Afrin rivers. The lake in the plain was drained in 1980 by a French company. At the same time, channels were built to widen the Orontes and let it pass neatly through the city centre. The Orontes is joined in Antakya by the Hasi Kuruz stream to the northeast of the city near the Church of St. Peter, and the Hamsan which runs down from Habib i Neker to the southwest, under Mamekli Bridge near the army barracks. Flora includes the bay trees and myrtle. 
Topic: Climate. Topic: The city enjoys a Mediterranean climate with hot and dry summers and mild and wet winters. However, due to its higher altitude, Antakya has slightly cooler temperatures than the coast. Topic: Education. Topic. Mustafa Kemal University, abbreviated as MKU, has several faculties including engineering and medicine, while having a campus called Tafer Sokman located in Serenyul District 15 km miles, north of Antakya Centrum. Established in 1992, currently more than 32,000 students enrolled at the university. Besides the campus in Serenyul, MKU has its faculties spread out in all main districts of the province, including Altinozu, Antakya, Belen, Dortyol, Erzin, Hassa, Iskenderun, Kirakan, Rayhanli, Samandag, and Yeladagi. <laughs> main sites the long and varied history has created many architectural sites of interest. There is much for visitors to see in Antakya, although many buildings have been lost in the rapid growth and redevelopment of the city in recent decades. Hattay Archaeology Museum has the second largest collection of Roman mosaics in the world. The rock-carved Church of St. Peter, with its network of refuges and tunnels carved out of the rock, a site of Christian pilgrimage. There are also tombs cut into the rock face at various places along the Orontes Valley. Old Market District, it offers plenty of traditional shops, where you can explore what you have not seen before. It is exactly in the city center, you are in when you see the sign Uzan Karsi Kadesi. The Sidi Gundas Cinema in the city center was once used as parliament building of the Republic of Hattay. The waterfalls at the Harbiya, Daphne Promenade. The Ottoman Habib i Neker Kami, the oldest mosque in Antakya and one of the oldest in Anatolia. The labyrinth of narrow streets and old Antakya houses. This district is the old town in fact. Vespasianus Titus Tunnel Samandagi. It is approximately 35 km, far from the center. Basili Cave and Graves, the antique city of Seleucia Pieria. St. Simon Monastery. Bagras Bakras Castle, which was built in antiquity and restored many times in later centuries particularly during the Crusades, when it was a stronghold of the Knights Templar, served as a watchtower on the 27 km 17 miles mountain road from Iskenderun Alexandretta to Antakya Antioch. The panoramic view of the city from the heights of Mount Habib I Necker with its rich architectural heritage, Antakya is a member of the Norwich-based European Association of Historic Towns and Regions 1. The Roman bridge thought to date from the era of Diocletian was destroyed in 1972 during the widening and channeling of the Orontes. Sports Antakya has one male professional football club, Hatayspor, who play in the TFF1 league. There is also a female professional team called Hatay Bayuksehir Belediyasi. Topic. Cuisine Topic. The cuisine of Antakya is renowned. Its cuisine is considered Levantine rather than Turkish. The cuisine offers plenty of meals, where beef and lambs are mainly used. Popular dishes include the typical Turkish kebab, served with spices and onions in flat unleavened bread, with yogurt as Ali Nazik kebab, orik, katas boregi and katili ekmek. Hot spicy food is a feature of this part of Turkey, along with Turkish coffee and local specialities. Here are some savor Ikli koft and other auric varieties, varieties of the Arabic kibbeh, deep fried balls of bulgur wheat stuffed with minced meat, or baked in ovens in cylinder cone shape. Sak orugu is made of the same ingredients, however in circular shape. Katas boregi, it is patty that is made of wheat, beef, tomato and onion. Katili ekmek, ingredients in katili ekmek usually consist of wheat, traditional pepper paste, spices such as sesame and thyme, koklik or cheese. It looks like an ancestor of pizza. Not a lot of restaurants serve it, however it can be found in Old Market that is located in the center and Harbia. Pomegranate syrup, used as a salad dressing, called Deeb's ramen, a traditional Levantine Arabic dressing. Samirsik, a thin bread with hot pepper, minced meat or spinach filling. 
Spicy chicken, a specialty of Harbia Zada zadar, a traditional Levantine Arabic paste of spice thyme, oregano, and sesame seeds, mixed with olive oil, spread on flat called pita or in English pita bread. Fresh chick peas, munched as a snack. High rise, boiled and pounded wheat meal. Asur, meat mixed with crushed wheat, chickpea, cumin, onion, pepper and walnut mezahumus, the chickpea dip. Pureed fava beans. Patlikan salatasi, patlikan salatasi or baba ganoush, made of baked and sliced aubergines that mix it with pepper and tomato. It is usually served with pomegranate syrup. Terachor, known also as terator, made of walnuts, taan, yogurt and garlic. Suzmi yogurt, a type of yogurt that its water content is removed with traditional methods. Esme biber, it is made of pepper and walnuts. Sirk, dried curds served in spicy olive oil. Koklik, the spicy sun-dried cheese. Eels from the Orontes, spiced and fried in olive oil sweets, desserts kanaf, a hot cheese, kadaf-based sweet. Antakya is Turkey's kanefe capital. The pastry shops in the center compete to claim being King's Turkish, crawl of the pastry. Musebek, rings of deep fried pastry. Painterli or mik helvasi. Painterli or mik helvasi is a dessert that is made of semolina, sugar, and traditional cheese that is the same as used in kanefe. It is served warm, especially in restaurants in the region Harbia, rather than kanefe shops that are located in the center. Twin towns Antakya is twinned with Aalen, Germany since 1995. Notable people Alexandros Greek sculptor George of Antioch Ignatius of Antioch, Patriarch of Antioch John Chrysostom 349 Patriarch of Constantinople Saint Luke, 1st century AD, Christian evangelist and author of the Gospel of Saint Luke and Acts of the Apostles Yagisian, Seljukid governor of the city up to its capture by the Crusaders Selahattin Ulkuman, righteous among the nations Tafer Sokman, the President of the Republic of Hatay during its existence between the years 1938 and 1939. References Glanville Downey Ancient Antioch. Princeton University Press. Rockwell, William Walker Antioch. In Chisholm, Hugh. Encyclopædia Britannica, 2 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. pp. 130–132. External links Pictures of Antakya Pictures of Antakya Museum